me. Hey, 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 I'm back. Woo! Lemonade. I'm eating at Popeye's today, y'all. Come on. I got the uh, three piece meal and stuff. I tried to, I said, I'm, a, I'm just tired of burgers right now. I got a three piece meal. I love my chicken. Everything. Mm -mm -mm. And tell me how y'all day going. Blessed, I hope. <laughs> and highly favored. I started to get the spicy. But I didn't see what was new there. I'm just trying to get caught up with everybody else because they don't did. Pie pies and all that. I'm not good on that on that pie. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Door. Oh. Um, the trip I put on next month, I'm going to go in November. There's more places and things to do. I cleaned that bone, y'all. Okay. Cleaned it with no problem. Mm hmm. Hey, y'all, my daughter, they want to do it in November before Thanksgiving. How many people, I think this is it right here, love this part? Oh, I love it. Oh, any chicken, I love it. I don't know if it's the neck. What is it? But I just like the crunch of it. So sleepy. I think I'll go. That's not because I go to bed late. I took some Benadryl. Mm -hmm. Because um, it's time for me to start getting an allergy. The top of my mouth be itching, and so my nose be burning, and Ears be tingling, or itching, whichever one, I don't know. And, um, uh, I mean, I need all that honey. So, I think in constant, the out effects to that, to me, is it make you drowsy the next, the next day. 
but it makes me sleep well. So good. Earlier this morning, I had a cheese sandwich. I think around six something. I had um some cookies. This is my last meal. I don't understand. My body craves sweets a lot. I don't know why. And I, I really try not to give in to too much sweets. Sorry about running. You can taste the butter or something on that. Oh my ass. Before all this happened. Then now, to now, okay. Before all this happened to me, the food was really good. And then you just go to one with people who don't really want to work. Then you, know, you get some bad food. But I went down wrong. Okay. <clears throat> but the food don't taste the same. I don't understand why. What I do miss about sitting down at a restaurant and having family time. I do miss that. I miss that a lot. But... I'm trying to decide next year if I'm gonna do more do more cooking. Than eating out. Cause sometimes you do a lot of spending money on fast food, but you still hungry, like if you get hung, like say if I would have bought this up during the day. You're going to be home before you go to bed. So, I don't know. Food to me just don't seem to... Shanti, get the dog out of my room. No, baby, I don't. But yeah, I'm trying to eat a lot. To get full.
What do y'all think? Do y'all think that everything opened up too soon? I know if they kept talking about them checks. Stimulus check. They were gonna make everybody go back to work. Because they don't want they don't want that. They keep passing. I knew to me. I think that when they're just rushing things too quick. And it's more like let's see how many people who's going to make it and how many people going to die. Die from that was something like to me. This is that's way it out and see what happened. And uh I don't know. I I I just pray for everybody that is out there who have to go to work and stuff. My chicken ain't crunchy like I want it. But it's all good. It'll be all right. But I got this, people. It doesn't make me good. But I like Chick fil A's lemonade. They got some tough lemonade. The one I really like is over there where we got some hot dogs at. Y'all seen my daughter and them do? They got some good, good for the hot dog place. Corny dogs covering, I think. Uh, uh, corny dog. That lemon, lemonade slush. It's on point. It is good. <coughs> it's on point. I I kid you not. Three pieces of a little too much. They gave me two legs and a the breast. I guess that's what they are. Yes, y'all. Just be safe out there. I know we can't live in fear. I know we can't do that. But it's so many people out there not wearing their masks and making it uneasy for everybody else. And you're just like, well, that's, you know, you be thinking, well, that's their life. No, it's going to infect you if they get too close. Winter time is coming up. I just, I just want everybody to be safe. Keep, I mean, keep your distance. Keep your distance from everybody and stuff. What type of? Uh, just keep your distance from everybody and keep your mask on. Wash your hands. I don't, I never think. I never thought that. You know, people don't wash their hand. I never thought of nothing like that. I thought that would just come natural. Wash your hand before you eat. 
<coughs> wash your hand before you do anything. It's gonna go in your mouth or in your face. So it's gotta be careful. But yeah, to me, since this stuff happened, um, uh, I got a little, I got a, a little migraine. I used to be bothered with those a long time ago. I used to have a real bad migraine. Then God bless him to stop. Then I got right there. I got one. I'm going to go lay down. Turn the lights off. Relax. Because when you get to going too much, <clears throat> you know, you start having these headaches. I try to get all my lemonade because they give you so much ice, ice in there. You, I hate that. I, I don't know why I don't tell them don't put ice in it. Because by the time you make it home, your drink be like water. It be watered down, and I don't like it when it's like that at all. Oh, hold on. Let me get my little snack. I had to get my apple pie. I mean, what's the apple? It's a strawberry. I think it's strawberry cream pie. Yeah, honey. I was supposed to go off without eating it. I got me some water. Yeah, I guess I'll do it right there. I'm not put it now. Then I have lemon water. Now, I know McDonald's used to sell these. And my niece was telling me about it. I hope it's good. It's warm. Let's see what we get. Y'all, yeah. I got I hope that's good. You see the cream? I hope it's good. It's okay. It didn't really taste the. Uh, it didn't really taste the cream. Mmm. Oh. It's good though. Okay. Oh. I love the strawberry. You know, y'all, I can't eat, like, these, I really don't like the outside of them. The apple pie and all that other stuff they be having like this. I won't eat, this is the only thing I would buy if I see it. Mm. So, are y'all ready for... Uh, Thanksgiving. My daughter cooking this year. I am not doing no cooking. I want to keep back and relax. That's what I want to do. Uh -huh. I want to keep back and relax. I bring something. Oh, but that cooking. That's a lot. It's going to be very small this time because we usually have like all the grown kids that bring their college friends, their friends, their girlfriends, their boyfriends, and all that, which is good. And that's what I'm going to miss is because our family is big anyway, but 
Woo. When all when everybody come, that's a lot of cooking. And they do bring stuff. You got some that bring stuff. But baby, it's so much fun doing Thanksgiving. And I'll be so happy. I got so much to be thankful for. I have so much to be thankful. I have my whole family. I have their friends that treat us like family that we love. And uh, I got my health. I'm happy. I'm still understanding. I'm so happy when it comes to this. When Thanksgiving comes and you sit back, it's like like a year done came and you sit there and you sit and you look at everybody, everything, even the cooking and stuff. Because one year we did it where that we didn't do it. We didn't do we been thankful and we thank God for everything. But we tried it without the cooking. We did it on a Christmas too, but we talked about Thanksgiving. Uh for that, we just one time just to keep back and relax without the cooking, without nothing. And uh let the let everybody go visit with their friends and stuff the other way. And that was so lonely. I, I guess I was relaxed, but I was like, no, nah, I miss that, you know, where everybody's coming, everybody bringing food, everybody laughing, dancing, playing games, different stuff, and we try different food. Like I said, our family is huge, and when you add them friends to it, I ain't going to even say friend, our extended family, it's my friends, extended family. Baby, honey, it is so much fun. We laughing, we giggling, we singing, we dancing. It's so much fun. And for us not to be able to do it this year, because I don't want to miss it. I didn't want to miss it. But <clears throat> social distance. Um, be safe. I have to keep my mom safe. I got a grandbabies. My grandbabies, I got to keep safe. I got a daughter, I got to keep safe. So, so it's going to be a small little gathering. Um, I have my oldest daughter. If I need to help bring something or whatever she might need, bring it. But with them growing up, they don't have so many... Like, I like to bring, I, like, I my thing is to bring a whole lot of pies and cakes, right? I love to have a lot of that. So, because my daughter, my youngest daughter, just started eating sweets when I let her do the YouTube channel. But, she wasn't used to sweets. So, it was amazing to see her try these things and stuff. But, I still have to watch because, uh. She don't did it long enough for now. Baby, you don't have enough sweets. But on the holidays, I will bring out all the sweets. So she had a chance because the only time she was able to have sweets is holidays, birthdays, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Them the only time she used to be able to have it. I want her to let her have it. And I'm going back to that and stuff. Because I don't want her to get into a sweets like that. I don't let her have soda. I let her taste Sprite. I'm not going to keep doing that either. Because my baby had no problems with her teeth. But now I hear her say she got, like she got toothache. I'm about to make her a dentist appointment. But, um, honey, yes. So... I don't know. There was the Thanksgiving just a wonderful time. I'm going to miss it. But we still have fun. But we miss the people who were not there. Even. I don't think a lot of close family is coming. We just, I think everybody just kind of going to have their stuff at home. 
and stuff. Y'all. And hopefully by next year I'll be moving. Cause I gotta move downstairs, honey. We can't do upstairs no more. My mom had trouble getting upstairs. My knees are crackling. I'm losing some this way. I, well, I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm gonna have to do a whole body thing so y'all can see myself. I think I have lost some, but I don't know. I don't weigh myself because I get disappointed and stuff. But I know because my ankles will start hurting. It's bad because I got hot. Well, it, my wife is at high blood pressure. No, I don't. Um, God forgive me for that. Um, I have uh, high flashes. Whew, those are some mess. It like they happen every five seconds. I get hot, I get cold, I get hot, I step. Now let's say it. I have a, I have to get it where one at a time. I turn the heat on, but I got to have a fan right there on my face. Cause if not, it's like my body will shut down. Like, I, when my oldest daughter and them stay over here, it was so funny because uh, y'all too quit playing. My, both of my dogs play. Apple line and chopper. I am videotaping. Chopper. Fully. Quit it. No. Sit. No. No, no, no. No, no. I don't want to play either. Go play. But, uh. You want to play. But, um. Yeah. It's like when I'm asleep. The. If somebody would turn the air off. My body would wake straight up when I sit up. Mm -mm. I, yeah. mm -mm. Menopause is not nothing to play with. I I thought I was going crazy one time because before I found out I was going through menopause, I would be hot, cold, angry, mad, frustrated, everything you can name at one time. And um, so I was like, it's something wrong with me. It's seriously something wrong with me. So I ended up going to the hospital. And they had already, it was my appointment time. So I went back to the doctor. And uh, she was sitting down. She had crossed the leg. She said, uh, you know you're going through menopause. I'm like, what is that? Because I really didn't know what it was. And she got to explaining it and stuff. I said, Lord Jesus, I thought I was going crazy. Because I, I will be mad crying, ready to cry on you in a second. And I have, and that's a lot to maintain where you don't get angry like that. And you don't take that frustration out on nobody. You have to learn how to do that. Because like I said, like Christmas or Thanksgiving, we had a house full. And everybody couldn't figure out where they was going to go. If they were going to go bowling or stay at the house, whatever. And they kept on talking, talking, talking. And they were getting frustrated with each other. I said, I'm going to tell y'all like this. Y'all got three ways out this house. Find one of them. And I was talking to everybody. I said, find one of them. Get out. Leave. I don't care where you go, but you got to get that away from here. Just go. Just get out. Like, oh, okay, yes, ma'am. So that was a fun. And ever since that, I seen myself snap like that. Yes, it was funny, but I had to recognize when I get stuck and hot because it's like heat comes down on you or come up on you, and you can feel it like it's just like if you walk from outside into the from cold into hot and it just hit you like that. Let me tell y'all, that ain't nothing to play with. Cause to do it, you once it start hitting you, you get angry really quick. So I had to figure out and pray. Baby, because I tell you, God helped me a lot with that. Um so I learned how to maintain it. But like when I feel it coming on, I usually will walk outside where it's cold. Or I will 
walk away from people if I can. Because it, it, it don't care where it comes. It just come and hit you like that. And it don't care. And that, I'm going to tell you, that's the worst of feeling. Anybody who went through it. And they don't, they tell you to go take some over the counter medicine. I tried it. And I, I tried so much until a point where they, you get tired of taking medicine. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing is working. Nothing will work. And they don't give it to you now. You know, back in my mom's day, they had medicine they give you for that. Now they found out that's not good for you. So they don't put you on nothing for for that. So I'm like, y'all, I really be trying to maintain it, make it work. But yeah, the menopause ain't nothing to play with. And how I got on this conversation, I don't know. But that's probably why you see me drink a lot of water. Because it's cold. I got to have it. And I'm trying to drink a lot of water to help. Also, I don't know how many of these I have to drink a day. To say I'm doing, I'm doing okay. I used to hate water. And probably if I quit drinking it. And start drinking soda again. I hate it again. But right now, I crave water. I have to have water. Body need them. But I figure once I start losing weight and all that, my ankles will quit hurting. I'll be feeling better, looking better, everything. But I'm gonna be working on me. Y'all gonna y'all gonna see it. Oh, and hopefully when I come back, y'all be able to see it. I think I'm dying my hair a bluish purple or a purple. I picked it. And I, I said I wanted to step out. Just see what it looked like. You know, everybody got these different color hairs and stuff. It ain't going to stay in that long. I, I mean, until it wear off. It's a thing like a color I would love. I'm going to get my daughter probably to do it sometime tomorrow. I'm not for sure. So don't quote me on that. But I want it done. I've been having it now for a week or two. Haven't done it yet, but I'm going to work on it. I'm going to tell you, I enjoy sitting and talking to y'all and everything. And uh, leave comments and stuff to talk about. I have a lot to talk about, but I have, what I'm working on now is staying focused, trying to talk about one subject instead of jumping around. I'm working on that. Hopefully to get better. But I'm going to have some stuff to, uh, getting, um, changing and better myself and everything. But, okay, I'm going to change the subject again. Here we go, okay? Sorry, y'all. This brain's just everywhere. Um, this stuff I hear is not getting no better. Just... Y'all leaving comments what y'all get out of it. Because one minute you hear that the count of people who are dying is going down. And then you turn on the TV again, it haven't changed. I don't watch the news. I get it from my mom or I get it from somebody who watched the news. I can't watch the news. Like, never have, even before this. Got a lot going on. You don't want stressful things happen. But... Okay, peace out. Love y'all. I know this video won't be too long. Love y'all. And stay safe out there. Wash your hands and wear your mask and stay prayed up. Love y'all. Bye-bye.